Hi guys, and welcome back to Creative Glam. I'm so glad you stopped by. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sharon. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel by clicking that subscribe button below and turning on your notification bell to all so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I would also appreciate if you leave me a comment and make sure you hit that like button because it helps my channel to grow here on YouTube. Now in this DIY project, I am going to do a decorative book box. I'll be using some sticker letters that I got from Hobby Lobby to create my words. You know, you see the ones that say home sweet home. I will be using these sticker letters to create my saying that goes in front on the binder part of the decorative box. And then I have a decorative box here. It's an actual box that I am going to paint. I'm gonna leave the edges here gold, but I am gonna paint it and kind of update it a little bit and turn it to white, like the ones that you see uh, at all the home decor stores. I have some folk art paint here. Uh, this is acrylic, not chalk paint. And as I said, I'm gonna leave this portion gold. I normally would have taped off this portion here. I thought I had some painter's tape, but I don't. I like this little box. I don't even remember where I got it from. I, I wanna say I got it from Home Goods um, a very long time ago. This video is in conjunction with a collaboration called The DIY Challenge and is being hosted by Heidi Sombal DIY. I will leave a link to Heidi's channel down below in the description box as well as a link to the playlist so that you can see the other videos of the content creators participating in today's challenge. Now I'm going to let this dry for a couple of hours. Now that I've got the box all painted and it's dry, it's time to decorate. I've got my lettering. I haven't decided exactly what words I'm going to put here in the front. I've got some ribbon, I've got some glitter ribbon, and I've got some black and white twine. I think I'm going to use both. And I'm going to make a miniature garland. And I'm going to use these beads that come from my, my jewelry making stash. And I've got a little piece of greenery that I'm also going to add. I am filming today with a new camera, so um, I hope everything um, comes out looking I'm trying to get used to this new camera, so um, forgive me for any issues there may be in filming this. Um, as I said, I still got to work out the kinks and get my settings and everything um, the way that I like them to be. I'm going to wrap the box with the solid black ribbon and then I'm going to go back around it with the black and white twine. And here I'm just going to restring my cracked glass bead. In this DIY project, I will be making a wall clock. I will be using a 12 by 12 piece of wood that I got from Michaels. I will be using a 12 by 12 piece of decorative paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. I will be using some acrylic paint in black. I have a sponge paintbrush and I got a clock mechanism that I got from Hobby Lobby. So now I am gonna take the 12 by 12 piece of lumber outside and I wanna paint the edges just so when you look at the clock from the side, it looks finished. This shouldn't take long to dry at all. 
and then I'll come back and we can put the clock together. I've had it paint to all four sides of the clock and it's all dry. I also, and I added a hole in the center for the clock mechanism. And now I'm going to use some uh, spray adhesive to attach the faux leather decorative paper to the front of the clock. Now I'm going to wipe off some of that excess adhesive. I added the mechanism through the hole. The mechanism goes into the back. And then I add the washers to the front of the clock. I added the arms. I got the hour hand and the minute hand. And now I'm going to add the second hand. You're on the top. And there you go. I'm not going to add any numbers or letters or anything on there. I think it's a very modern looking clock, wall clock. And the uh, mechanism on the back has a hanger for you to use to hang it onto the wall with, which is what I will do. But I think that turned out beautiful. I like that quite a bit. This DIY is a trash to treasure. I will be converting this old candle holder that I no longer use into a planter pot. I will be using some folk art black matte paint and I will also be using some white stones as a filler. Uh, but I will also be using a styrofoam floral ball so that I, on this inside of the glass vessel so that I don't have to use so many stones. Now the first thing I'm going to do is paint the metal portion black. Yeah, so like I said, I have a new camera. It is the uh, it is the uh, Canon EOS R5. So it is very new, and I am still trying to figure out the settings and uh, um, figure out the settings and and what works and what doesn't. So again, as I said before, please forgive me for any uh, uh, filming faux pas that may uh, arise during the the course of these next couple videos until I get everything straight or I'm confident because I'm not exactly confident in the, at the moment that everything is everything <laughs> the camera setting my lighting hasn't changed but it feels like it has I'm also filming at it um an unusual time of day um, it's later in the evening and I don't usually film this late in the evening I usually get a little more sunshine even though it's been totally snowing and overcast and very little sun um, I'm filming at a time that I don't usually you know it's been kind of dark I say that to say that it's been dark and not much sunshine anyway but I usually don't film this late into the evening Here on Creative Glam, I love to share videos on all things home, like seasonal home decor, high-end DIYs, cleaning and organizational videos, shopping hauls, food, and travel too. As I said, all things home. Hey guys, let's connect on social media, on Instagram and Pinterest, at Creative Glam One. I'm gonna leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out, and make sure you follow.
in this DIY, I will be creating wall art using a shadow box that I already had. I will also be using a decorative piece of cork board that I've already had that I no longer use. And I don't even think I ever really used it at all. Um, I wanted to use it. I thought it was so pretty, but uh, I never did. I never found a place to use it. So I've decided I'm going to use the back side of this cork board because I thought it was so pretty. And I'm going to use it as decorative wall art inside the shadow box. Uh, but behind it, I'm going to add some um, decorative mirror tiles. So now I am going to adhere the mirror tiles to the back of the shadow box. tuning in I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today and I'm hoping that this video gave you tons of inspiration if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bells I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up so hit that like button too at the end of this video you'll see two video links click one to see more home decor and DIYs by creative glam and leave me a flower in your comment to let me know that you enjoyed this type of content and you made it all the way to the end and with that being said, have a blessed day, and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!